name is John Cordy and sometimes it's important to just put the guitar away for a second and um, really try and do something that matters and um, there's, there's a friend of mine, uh, I know he's a regular viewer, he's probably watching this intro probably in in a cell. Anyway, uh, long story short, um, he's an unironic Nicolas Cage fan and I thought we could all show support in some way by commenting below our favourite um, Nicolas Cage movies and my favourite one was that one where he played a helicopter pilot uh, you'll remember that one yeah you know with Nicolas Cage in a helicopter um, so yeah if you could all just comment below your favourite Nicolas Cage movies I think that would be something that could really help um, Jim out wherever he is in the cell um, right anyway no this week I was asked to look at some specific licks from a video of mine um, and they're from like the, the middle of a Matteo Sassato pod go video so I've broken them down uh, I've done two two of these licks um, the two that I thought were at least awful and so you heard them at the start of the video and let's just get straight in with lick one so that's how we're starting off I'm going to turn off some of the delay because that's a thing that people have asked me to do occasionally. So that's how we're starting off. So we've got a bend at the 12th fret. We're in C sharp minor. So bend up to the 14th. And then hit on the 9th fret, that C sharp that we're bending up to. And then back down. So that'd be an interesting or semi-interesting little maybe you could use that and picking wise just picking the direction of the string change is what I do and then we end up doing this little run thing so slowly it is Again slowly. So uh, same picking style for me, so obviously it might take you a bit longer to get that up to speed, but it's something that I kind of just naturally do because I've been playing that sort of thing for ages if you know what I mean. It's not that I can play faster than you or anything like that, it's just that these are more familiar shapes to me so there'll be things that you could play faster than me and vice versa. And that's how I end it. So all together. And it's sort of free time, it wasn't recorded to a click. So I've just written down sort of my interpretation of whatever the time I was implying was. Anyway, so take it slowly to start with. And in theory wise, uh, I guess we're doing some mostly kind of C sharp minor pentatonic and some Dorian stuff there. And then some blue. kind of typical of the sort of thing that I do. That was the first lick. The second lick that I picked out of this that was not so awful was this one. Something like that anyway. 
so slowly. Chromatic note there. So again, sort of not anything that I'm particularly thinking of consciously whilst playing this, except for like C sharp Dorian kind of vibe. Something like that. But yeah, those are two licks that I was asked to break down by Isaiah, I think. Um, hopefully that was vaguely useful. In terms of playing it, I'm doing what I always, or almost always do, which is legato, but picking string changes. Um, but what I would advise is to practice it super slowly, maybe watch the video or loop that start bit of the video playing it slowly with that. Um, and try and keep it kind of smooth and flowing, I guess this is the idea of it, whether I achieved it or not, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, and then I'll, the tab for it will be up on my Patreon if you want it. Um, uh, hopefully that's uh, useful for the one person who asked for it. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for everyone who stopped by my live stream last night. Uh, I was a little bit nervous. Uh, trying to play this jazz stuff live is kind of difficult for me, but I think it went okay. Um, I think we're going to try and do that regularly. So this Sunday coming, there'll be a live stream again. I think I'm going to be doing George Benson's, or I don't think it's actually his original tune, but there's a tune that he did called Affirmation. Um, I think we're going to look at that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get something out of that and thank you everyone for stopping by and subscribing and liking and the comments and stuff it's really kind of helpful um hopefully i'm able to give something back that's not an entire waste of your time um that's the idea here anyway so thank you for stopping by and uh yeah if you wanted those licks they'll be up on my patreon thank you for stopping by i keep saying thank you for stopping by uh cheers